of the way. I was inducted in the Mississippi, Mississippi Hall of Fame with Lowell George. <laughs> President of my induction, we went down and told the children, very, the most poorest place in America by fact. We went there, and my wife and I were in sobbing in a motel room to get to the show, to get the little plaque, the wooden plaque with the bronze flame of hope. And we get there, and to, so I can be a famous musician. <laughs> and uh, inducted in the Mississippi Hall, Hall of Fame, Musicians Hall of Fame, and with Jimmy Buffett and the rest of them. The year I got in was with Howlin' Wolf. Now, Howlin' had died. Now, Howlin' was Lowell George's favorite singer, blues singer, as he was mine. I just thought it was head and shoulders. And I just, it occurred to me, as I was going to go up to the podium, my wife said, keep it light. <laughs> so, fortunately, just then they announced how the wolf. And the, and the auto went up and said, My daddy walked down the miles of the railroad track just for a spoonful of something. And she choked and could not continue. The crowd went great, it was asphyxiating with grief of justice delayed. The whole way down the, 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 the hook, line, and sinker, down to the last seal of the deal, and the attorney, and the casual observer. Well, then, <laughs> I was supposed to follow that. I really, I forget what happened, but I tell you, my mind went blank. <laughs> it was so sad to me, but she said, keep it light. But it occurred to me in that moment, that epiphany, that Lowell George would have been turning in his grave if he saw me getting an award with him. <laughs> I want to thank you all for your kind recollections. And